Okay, everybody, I'm back with a extremely important revelation. Remember a little over a week ago, I exposed Satan's plan through the words or phrases that were being thrown around by the governments and media, which was draconian measures. These were the terms our governments, all these governments were using of the measurements that they were going to have to put in place. And if you don't remember the video or didn't catch it, you might want to go back and see. This was the video I made, uh, Draconian Measures. And remember what draconian meant. To see the serpent or dragon. Again, if, if you need to uh, get a refresher on that, go back and look at the video. Or if you hadn't watched it at all, check it out. It explains and reveals a lot. But, since I've exposed that, and so now that I've revealed Satan plan, Satan's plan with my video draconian measures, him and the kings of the earth he has given power to has switched the term or words to drastic measures. How prideful and spiteful Satan is that he would attempt to exalt himself above God and the task he has appointed to his chosen to measure his temple. I show you now what Satan attempts to hide because he is the great deceiver. I give to you God's word because he is the word and he reveals all through the word, just as stated in John chapter 1. The word they are now using is drastic measures. This is now the term they decided to use since I exposed what draconian was. And you kind of understand what I'm up against, but he is the word, and I have discernment of the word. So what this means is obsolete. But more importantly, even though he wants to hide his works, this word is actually just a synonym for draconian, they're one in the same, and I will reveal all. These are the same words. It's just another word for the same meaning he's trying to hide since I've exposed draconian measures. <laughs> now, to find all of this information, I'm going to point you to the website... Wiktionary, which is a branch of Wikipedia, and this is the best, uh, most resourceful site to go to because it reveals every bit of this that I'm about to show you. I'm lifting the veil. So in a literal sense, and in the ethnology sense of the word uh, that they're trying to use now, this means the strength to do. This is going to give them the strength to do, and that's its, uh, that's Drastic's ethnology, literal understanding of it. And you'll find every bit of this on, on Wiktionary site. This also, in its acting, or, or excuse me, action meaning, means rapidly or violently. So you understand what they're going to do. Rapidly and violently. This is Satan at work. 
He's got to move rapidly and violently because he knows his time is short. Especially now that I've announced myself. And in its noun form, a powerful, fast-acting purgative medicine. This is the most revealing part, people, and you will find this on the site. This is in its noun form means purgative medicine and what I've exposed about the medicine, the vaccines already. Check it out. I'm exposing his entire plan. So, let's understand purgative since this is going to be a purgative medicine as revealed through the word. Purgative means to, uh, is derived from purges. It can also be associated with purgatory. For all you Catholics, you would definitely understand this. This is going to put the people in a state of purgatory. Now let me show you what purgatory means. The Catholics pretty much know this. This is a place or state of suffering. Now, do you see what Satan's plan is, people? You see what I'm revealing to the world? A place and state of suffering. All states will suffer. And the most important... Or, excuse me, this is not really the most important, but one important understanding of what Satan is doing, his spite and pride. This is his draconian and drastic measures. This is important because I'm going to point out the scriptures that relate to this and why he uses these words, measures. This is the dragons or serpents measures and here comes the scripture that relates to this go to revelations 11 chapter 11 verse 1 the very first verse and this is where god is appointing his chosen and let me begin to read it and there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure, there's your word measure, the temple of God. Now let me point out another scripture vital to understanding this. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16, and I've pointed this out in some of my other videos. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. It is you, people. You are to be measured because you are the temple, and God's appointed will measure you. And he will find inequity in you if it's to be found, if you accept the mark. And let me point out also something important. What I had before out of, out of Satan's spite. See the rod? This is the measuring rod. Satan using medicine to try to exalt himself to measure. Using his medicines to measure the temple. This is his spite, people. He wants to exalt himself above anything that is God, including his appointed. So he wants to constrict the rod or take the rod and measure you himself. That's the symbol of medicine that helps you to realize. There's also the symbol of who? World Health Organization I've pointed out. There's the serpent and the rod again. Your who organization the kings of the earth that have been given their power from Satan. 
So now you see, nothing is hidden from me. Because just as John 1, verse 1 states, God is the Word, and the Word is with Him. I've been given complete discernment of the Word to reveal all and to give glory and reverence to our Lord and Savior. Satan will not deny God's appointed and His task. Open your ears, people. Open your eyes. Recognize where we are in the sight of God. You need to stay subscribed. There's much more to come. God bless.